Bailey. When I started to write this letter to you, I suddenly realized that there aren't words to describe how much I love you. So instead, I'm going to pray for our future together. I pray that our love continues to grow stronger every day and that I can be the man that you want me to be. I promise to always put God, you, and our family first, which is why I'm here today instead of in the deer woods. If that doesn't say I love you, then I don't know what does. Bailey, you are everything I could have dreamed about in a wife. You are beautiful, loving, kind, and sassy. And I thank God every day for giving you me. Love, Devin. Devin, the day I have been dreaming of since I was a little girl is finally here. The day I have been dreaming of since I've been with you is finally here. I'm so grateful that God has placed you in my life. I truly believe we were made for each other. You see the best in me at my worst, love me unconditionally, and most importantly, you put God first in your life and our relationship. In you, I have found my very best friend, biggest blessing, and love of my life. You make me the happiest person on earth, and I cannot imagine my life without you in it. Here's to forever. Let's do this damn thing. Love, Bailey. This particular time, I'd like to ask, who is it that gives this extremely beautiful bride to be married today? My mother and I.
And Devin, I want to ask you today, in front of Bailey and all of these family and friends, do you promise to love Bailey with the kind of love that we just read about in God's Word? I do. And Bailey, the same for you. As you've heard these things and what God's Word says about love, do you promise to love Devin with this kind of love? I do. So just a little backstory. As many of you guys don't know, Sydney and I are actually the masterminds behind this marriage. A little over four years ago, Sydney came to look at my horse and had told me that she was gonna bring Devin with her. So I thought it was a great idea to convince Bailey that I needed help at the barn. Which she had just got done riding her horse, so she, she was a, a mess. But really, we had had the plan the whole time to hook him up. Obviously it worked or we wouldn't be here today. So you're welcome. I've known Devin ever since we started school together. And after all these years, I have came to realize that there is no better friend by my side all these years. So Bailey, I can happily say you have chose the best husband and the best person to continue life with. 